$2 billion to you as minister to buy shares in a corporation which does not exist. I'm just very, very surprised to see it. $2 billion with no, with no explanation within the bill over how the $2 billion is going to be controlled. $2 billion worth of taxpayer money to buy shares in a company that doesn't exist? You've got to be kidding me. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. That clip of Conservative Senator Elizabeth Marshall grilling Finance Minister Christia Freeland's gone viral over the last little while. People are scratching their heads, wondering how this could be. Some even claiming that, well, it's clear that this is theft, that Freeland has skimmed the money or given it to her friends. None of that's true, but there's still problems here. There are still lots of questions to be asked. Uh, this incident happened back on December 7th as the Senate was examining the fall economic statement and the new spending and other measures that Freeland had brought in. By the way, it's passed already. It's become law. But the questions that Marshall was asking at the time are still valid. How will this company that still, as far as I can tell, doesn't exist, be structured? It's supposed to be a $15 billion fund to invest in green energy and green technology Who's going to manage it? How will it be run? Who's going to make sure that the taxpayer and those $2 billion are protected? These were the kinds of questions that Marshall wanted answered. Freeland's only answer? Well, we got to move fast because climate change. To the question of why are we doing it now, I would say to you two things. One, the green transition, we have to act quickly. But from my perspective, the Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act added to the urgency with which Canada needs to act. They are deploying hundreds of billions of dollars to invest in the green transition. We need to move really, really fast. But, and so getting this fund in place quickly is more important than ever. But, but that shouldn't have been good enough for senators. It shouldn't have been good enough for MPs who voted for it. But in both the Commons and the Senate, the Liberals have a de facto majority. The NDP and the Bloc will vote for any Green project that the Liberals put forward, no matter how badly set up. And in the Senate, well, Trudeau has stacked the place with independent senators that seem just to vote his way. So yes, this passed. But we should know who's going to be in charge of the money. We, there should be a structure for the corporation before the money's approved. This is how things should operate. The government announced this Canada Growth Fund back in April. Then they funded it in November. And by December, they still didn't have any of the structure in place, but they wanted the money. That's problematic. That's wrong. It shouldn't happen. But it does go to show you that another example of the Trudeau government's act first, think later mentality. They're running the government on the back of a napkin. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.